Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room Channel. Before I get started on this video tutorial, I just want to let you know that you can follow me on Instagram at The Sewing Room Channel and also check out my Facebook page. I post behind the scene photos of projects I'm working on and also some of my shopping trips. Now let's get started on this uh, tutorial. These are bottle aprons. Aren't they cute? I saw these somewhere and I thought these are so easy to make. Somewhere, I don't remember where I was looking, I saw them. They were $35 for three bottle aprons where you could do this for just a few dollars. So let's get started. To draw your pattern, first draw a rectangle that is four inches by six. Then go over one and a quarter inches and down two inches and draw a line and then go down two inches from here and draw a line across and do the same thing over here. So this is the bib part of the apron. Now to get the curved lines on it, I have these little templates that are by June Taylor. You can get them at Joann Fabrics and Crafts, but take anything that you have in your home that is round. And first put it down in the corners here. Whoops. And draw a little curved line like that. Then go over here and do the same thing. Draw a curved line. Then go down to the bottom and you might want to take just a little bit larger circle for this one and draw a curved line and then go over here and draw a curved line. Then you're going to cut on the lines here, down, across, and back up. And I like to draw mine onto cardstock because it's easier to trace around it. So after you cut it out, it's going to look like that. I love novelty fabric, whether it's for Christmas or any time of year. So I always have a lot of it around my house. But I thought this was perfect. Now I've had this for a few years, but I notice every year they have Christmas fabric that is similar to this. And this was absolutely perfect. The Santas, the reindeer, the snowman, the Christmas tree, they were absolutely perfect. So what I did was I cut out a four by six inch square of fabric. Now this of course is a Christmas theme, but if you don't want a Christmas theme and you're going to give wine, here is fabric with wine bottles on it. Now, I don't know if you can find this at Joann Fabrics and Crafts, but just go out on the internet and enter fabric for, uh, with wine bottles on it. Go into fabric.com or eQuilter.com. If you can't find wine bottle fabric, there's always lots of fabric with grapes on it. So these two would make great bottle aprons with a wine theme to it. This is the back of my fabric and the reason why I have the back of the fabric showing in case I make a mistake as I'm tracing around my template, it's not going to show. So place your template on there, line it up at the top, center it in there, and then trace around the template. Then go ahead and cut on your drawn lines. I used bias tape around the edges and I used quarter inch wide bias tape. And this is the bias tape I'm referring to. It's by Wrights, W-R-I-G-H-T-S. And again, it is one quarter inch. The problem that I had buying it or I couldn't get what I wanted was getting it in the right color for Christmas. They didn't have any red or any green anywhere I went. I did find it on Amazon, but it was three times the amount of money than what it should be. So if you can't find red or green bias tape, especially if you're doing it for Christmas, 
then you can make your own, which I did. And I have a video and that link will be below the screen and it will give you instructions on how to make your bias tape. In that video, I don't know if I mentioned how wide this one should be, but cut your strips of fabric when you're watching the video one and one quarter inch wide and that way it will come out just exactly the size you need for this project. So the first thing you want to do is put some of it up here across the top. So you're just going to slip the bias tape right over and push it up against the inside folded edge. Cut a piece off so that it uh, is the right length. Then stitch right across here. The next area to put the bias tape on is the sides and around the bottom. And again, just slip it over the edge. Now, along in here, I normally wouldn't pin, but as you get closer to the corner, I found it easier to pin because this is kind of a little short curve, so it's a little bit harder to get around. So if you can, pin it a little bit, and again, you're gonna stitch close to this edge, and you're gonna go all the way around, and then stop up here. You're going to need a strip of the bias tape, oh, anywhere from 25 to 35 inches. When you put it on the bottle, if you just want to tie a knot in the back, you only need about 25 inches. But if you want to put a little bow, then you're, of course, going to need longer. So fold your strip of bias tape in half and then put a pin in the center. And then you're going to go out two and a half inches from each side and you're going to close this so first close it and go out two and a half inches on each side of that center pin and stitch the bias tape closed. Now place the bias tape around this curved edge and where you stopped stitching it closed that's where you're going to insert the bib part. So you're going to push it right up against where that seam stopped and then put it around this curve and then pin it down like you see here. Then starting at one end, go ahead and stitch all the way up and stop here and then stitch the other side. After you're done stitching, then all I did was tie a knot and pushed it close to the very, very end. And then you're all done. I hope you enjoyed making these bottle aprons. I know I did. And remember, you can make these for that bottle of wine to give as a gift. Well, thanks for watching and happy sewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, would you please click on the thumbs up button and don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. And don't forget to click on the bell and enter your email address so you receive email notifications about my latest video. I'm Cheryl and this is Manny. See you next time and happy sewing!